Hello, my name is David Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. I've been an amateur radio operator for nearly 59 years, and today we're located here at the Floyd Community Amateur Radio Station, N4USA, which is known and operated by the Foundation for Amateur International Radio Service Fairs and the Floyd Amateur Radio Society. Today we want to talk about a specific tuner, the MFJ, 904 Deluxe Travel Tuner. This small tuner is designed specifically to take on uh, the expeditions where you need a low power tuner and a minimum tuner. Well, the MFJ 904 is intended primarily for portable use. It's a very basic tuner. It is rated uh, up to 300 watts. It does have the nice uh, dual metering arrangements, so you can see reflected power and, and forward power. It also has a lighted meter, uh, switch for 300 watts to 30 watts, so you have a range on your switch, the transmitter capacitor, the antenna capacitor, and inductor, variable inductor. So like I said, it's very, very basic. These three controls, of course, tune your, your T network uh, inside, which is common for most of these. Let's take a look inside. Here's the inductor arrangement over here. Uses some fair uh, toroid cores and the switch is down in, down in here for switching the variable and in, uh, various inductances. Here are your two capacitors. They're of course controlled from the front panel. And the little board down here has a circuitry for the SWR bridge. There's another switch here on the back side. This switch is the uh, antenna tuner in or out. And here's the antenna input. I'm sorry, antenna output and a transmitter input. And of course you see the back side of the meter here. Very fundamental. Here's your entire T network inductor, two capacitors. Looking at the back side, again we see uh, where we hook up ground. Tie this to your antenna. You can bypass the tuner here if you wish. Tie this to the transmitter and if you want to light the meter, here. That's very basic. Like I said, this is intended for use in portable operation. I've used this particular tuner myself. It, it uh, does a fine job. It's a very basic tuner, but it's small and you can carry it with you on expeditions uh, providing you're not running more than 300 watts and you keep the SWR low. Here's a schematic diagram for the MFJ904 Deluxe Travel Tuner, SWR meter and watt and uh, tuner. It uses a standard T network. Over here to the left, all the circuitry is just the SWR meter and power meter. Here's a transmitter input, and the, the light that lights up the SWR meter if you want to use it. It does have a uh, twin SWR meter showing reflected simultaneously with forward power. Here's the, the T network, the two capacitors and the variable inductor. It's a transmitter capacitor, the antenna capacitor, and out to the antenna. Very, very basic. The one we show in our video here does not have this, but you can buy the uh, H model that has the, uh, the ballon in it for uh, balanced feed line. And our model that we have uh, just shown in this video does not have this attachment. It's a basic T tuner with SWR meter and power meter, and that's it. But that's a very nice little meter for portable work, or you can use it for home station as well. Thank you for watching our video about the 904 portable travel tuner. It reminds you that a tuner does not make a poor antenna or poor feed system any better, but it does allow maximum power transfer to your, tune, to your antenna and feed system. It's an impedance matching device matching the output of the transmitter 
to the antenna feed and antenna system, which is essential. You want to operate at low SWR, and with an antenna tuner and SWR meter, usually you can accomplish the S low SWR between the antenna feed system and the transmitter itself. Thank you for watching this video, and we uh, hope you enjoy this one and other videos too.